Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today, with football season coming so soon, we can almost feel it, we're going to start looking at some game day food. And I want to start by firing up the Big Joe and we're going to make some, some of these big soft pretzels. And we're going to start out by making a really nice grainy beer mustard. So let's get started. Okay, I got a jump start on this process last night by taking a, a small stainless steel mixing bowl and in here I have one cup of whole grain mustard seeds and in that I put one cup of malt vinegar and one half of a cup of Guinness beer and I just covered that with plastic wrap and I let that stay in the refrigerator overnight to kind of rehydrate those mustard seeds. So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to come back to that in just a minute but we're going to mix up the rest of our mustard ingredients. Okay in a saucepan over medium high heat I'm going to add one and a half cups of Guinness beer, one half cup of malt vinegar, one cup of dry mustard powder, five teaspoons of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of honey, one half of a cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper, three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric, a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. And I'm just going to stir that to get all that combined. And after I get all that combined where there's no lumps in it, I'm going to let that come to a simmer. Okay, after that comes to a simmer, we're going to dump in the mustard seeds and their liquid that we had had in the refrigerator overnight. And we're going to stir that in and let it return to a simmer. Okay, after this comes back to a simmer, we're going to lower the heat just a little bit and we're going to let that simmer for about five minutes or so. Okay, after we've been simmering for another five or six minutes here, you're going to have a consistency. Looks about like that. What we're going to do is take it off the heat and we're going to let this cool completely and then I'm going to put it in mason jars and put it in my refrigerator. Now I've made here a lot more than I really need but when I make this I make a lot of it because it keeps. You can keep this in the in the refrigerator in an airtight jar pretty much indefinitely so we're going to cool this and set it aside and we'll get started on our pretzels. We're going to start getting our pretzel dough together so in my mixing bowl I'm going to add one and a half cups of lukewarm water and that water's at about a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to add to that two teaspoons of active dry yeast, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of salt. And I'm just going to use my whisk to kind of mix that around lightly for a minute to get that salt and sugar dissolved. And then we're going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. After that's had a chance to, to dissolve and get going, I'm going to add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and then we're going to spoon in four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're going to mix that on a low speed till we get a dough ball formed. After we have a nice dough ball there where all the dough is pulling cleanly from the sides of the bowl, we're going to take this off and transfer this to another bowl that's been oiled. Okay, I've got this mixing bowl oiled up. I just used cooking spray in that. We're going to transfer that dough ball to this. I'm going to cover that bowl with plastic wrap and we're going to let it uh, sit here and rest and rise for 60 to 90 minutes. Okay, we're going to get the Big Joe set up and warming up while we've got our dough rising. I've got a fairly full box of charcoal and I've lit a fire right in the middle. So I've set my divide and conquer flexible cooking rack in with the accessory rack in the bottom position. And I'm going to set both halves of the heat deflector right on top of the accessory rack and I'm going to center that up. And then we're going to set both halves of the grill grate right up top. And then we're going to set the Big Joe pizza stone right on top of the grill. And we're going to let the grill come up to about 450 degrees for this cook. So I'm going to leave the bottom vent fully open. And I'm going to leave the top vent fully open until we get up around 400 degrees. And then I'm going to slowly close it down to stabilize us at about 450. I let my dough finish rising and I've pulled it out onto my cutting board here. And I've divided it into eight 
roughly equal pieces uh, we're going to make some big pretzels you could probably divide this down even more so I'm going to take each one of these and roll it out into a long rope and then I'm going to shape each one of these ropes into a pretzel and we're just going to set those aside next thing we're going to do is I've got a six quart stock pot here that's about halfway full of water we're going to bring that to a boil and I'm going to add about a half a cup or so of baking soda we're going to dissolve that baking soda in this water and bring it to a slow boil after we get our water here up to a slow boil we are going to put these pretzels in for about 30 seconds on each side I'm going to do these in a couple of batches and after they've been going for about 30 seconds we're just going to reach in and give each one a flip and go for 30 more seconds and then I'm just going to take these out and we're going to repeat that process on the next four before we go to the grill and I've put these guys on a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper and I'm just going to hit these guys with an egg wash I've taken two eggs and added about a ta I've beaten those two eggs and added about a tablespoon or so of water thin that out just a little bit so we're going to put these put this egg wash on the top of these pretzels and then I'm just going to sprinkle on some coarse grain kosher salt and now we're ready to take these to the grill okay our big Joe is up the temperature so I'm going to pop the lid and we're just going to set these pretzels right on the stone and we're going to cook these for probably 12 to 15 minutes until they're nice golden brown and I'll let you know exactly how long it takes to cook them after we get done so we're going to close this up and we'll be back momentarily okay after about seven or eight minutes I'm going to get in here and get under these with my spatula make sure they don't stick and I'm going to spin them around a little bit so we make sure we get a nice even cook all the way around Man, these are looking great and we'll close these back up and let these finish off we've been going about 14 minutes here and these things are really starting to look amazing uh, I think I'm gonna leave them on here just a little longer I like to get these a little darker uh, so we're gonna leave them on a few more minutes and if you're ever worried about these things sticking you can cook this on parchment paper not have to worry about that so let's let these go a few more minutes we've been running right out about 18 minutes here and these things are looking beautiful so we're gonna pull these off yep they're nice and hot so I'm gonna take these off take them inside and let them cool a bit okay guys these things are looking amazing they're smelling fantastic and of course we can't forget about this uh, whole grain Guinness mustard that we made to try with this so let's have a taste okay guys the moment of truth I'm gonna tear a piece off of this they're still nice and warm and that's beautiful let's try it with a little bit of this mustard hmm. that's a really amazing pretzel you're not gonna find anything like that at the ballpark so guys, give this a try, the pretzels and the mustard. Let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter, at Kamado Joe. And until next time, I'm John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.